Uh, I, I really admire Tesla and Elon for what they've done. Uh, and, and it's clearly showed that an always on relationship with the customer where this industry is going, not just propulsion going electric, but actually having a digital relationship with the customer. I'm very thankful for that. But, you know, we're competitors and I race and second is the first loser. So, you know, we're going to we're going to go for it. We will be rolling them out and we're going to just keep working until we have number one market share in EVs. In the second quarter of 2022, Ford reported that sales increased 1.8% to 483,688 vehicles, while GM supplied 582,401 vehicles. Additionally, Tesla delivered 254,000 vehicles. In this context, Elon Musk disclosed that Tesla will achieve its target of producing 2 million automobiles annually. So let's try to reveal what Tesla does to achieve such impressive numbers in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new, we'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you won't miss any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get going with today's episode. <laughs> Which is insane. Um, I mean, the basic, you know, Tesla's doing, you know, of a $2 billion a week, let's say in revenue, it's sort of $300 million a day, seven days a week. In a Tesla shareholder letter, the company noted that its theoretical max production has increased by nearly twofold. Tesla's Fremont production capacity expanded to 650,000 vehicles from 600,000 last quarter, and Giga Shanghai's capacity grew to 750,000 from 450,000. Meanwhile, production of vehicles has ramped up at both Austin and Berlin Gigafactories, with Tesla now claiming each factory has an installed capacity of 250,000 vehicles. In Tesla's second quarter 2022 Q&A webcast, Elon Musk said it could theoretically deliver nearly 2 million of its EVs per year, a massive figure for a company that delivered 936,000 vehicles back in 2021. In fact, Tesla delivered 310,000 vehicles in the first quarter and 254,000 in the second, and the company would need to deliver a relatively ambitious 1,436,000 vehicles in the second half of 2022. With a revenue of $54 billion in 2021, it is expected that if Tesla manufactures 2 million vehicles this year as planned, sales will reach $100 billion in 2022. Moreover, currently Tesla's total revenue in the first quarter and second quarter of 2022 is $18.76 billion and $16.93 billion, respectively. In the remaining two quarters of the year, the revenue will reach $64.31 billion. It's almost two times higher than the previous two quarters. Elon Musk said that we've had many 30,000 car weeks already, so I think a 40,000 car week is within reach by the end of this year. So what tools will help Tesla achieve its goals? In fact, in general, we've got a lot of advanced materials coming for, for Tesla, that new alloys and, and materials that have never existed before. So you're basically making the, the front and rear of the car as a single piece. Tesla has about 17 gigapresses. The first two gigapresses were installed at the Fremont factory. There are now three gigapresses at Giga Shanghai, eight at Giga Berlin, and about four at Giga Texas. So we've made a lot of advancements in manufacturing processes. We reduced the body welding robot count by 70% per unit of capacity in Austin and Berlin, Elon Musk said, speaking about the manufacturing processes at all of the Tesla gigafactories. According to Tesla, the next generation of giga casting will be used to build the Cybertruck. It's also lighter, cheaper, and has superior noise and vibration harshness, so it's good on every level. But this journey is not over. The company will bring another level of simplicity and manufacturing improvements with Cybertruck and future products that they are not quite ready to talk about now, but they think will be very exciting to unveil in the future. It's possible that this new Gigapress will develop new alloys to work better with larger cast parts to use for their structure. We'll list a whole bunch of innovations and then when you add them up, you get a total uh, improvement in uh, energy density and cost. 
Tesla recently said it plans to start the production of the 4680 battery cells in Texas in the third quarter of 2022. The company expects to ramp the total production to more than 1,000 per week by the end of the year. This means that in the next four months, Giga Texas will have to produce 20,000 4680 batteries. Tesla procures about 1,600 unique pieces of silicon from 43 semiconductor companies. Things are more stable on the latest generation of chips. Tesla enhanced the cell's designs to unlock higher performance and manufacturing simplicity. We are certainly planning to layer in new material technologies and higher range structural packs, Drew Baglino, Tesla's senior vice president, said. Tesla also further integrated manufacturing lines, insourcing additional content. However, 4680 batteries are difficult to produce and require a high level of skill. Moreover, the infrastructure for production is an important factor. Musk said Tesla wants their suppliers to grow their battery output as fast as they possibly can, and that goes for the entire supply chain. As it is known, cell partner Panasonic sent, sent the first sample cells of the 4680 to Tesla and started its trial production in Japan back in May. A few weeks ago, it was announced that a battery factory for series production would probably be built in Kansas in the United States. Currently, Tesla has three factories operating with a combined capacity of 1.05 million vehicles. It also has two factories in the early ramp stage, which will double Tesla's current vehicle production capacity. By doubling its capacity, Tesla will pass Ford and GM in sales pretty easily by 2025. Tesla will need to open factories quickly to meet its goal of 50% growth for the foreseeable future. One of those sites could be in Indonesia because the Indonesian president, Jocko Widodo, has just paid a visit to Musk in Texas. So, how does this affect both GM and Ford? In 2021, Tesla vehicles accounted for 69.95% of new electric vehicle registrations in the US. At about 15.2%, GM also holds a significant portion of the US market, while Ford's market share in the US was around 12.6%. Should Tesla accomplish the 2 million units goal and control one-fifth of the world's automobile supply, Tesla will become one of the greatest successful manufacturers of all time. So GM's 2022 vehicle inventory does not only stop at 248,000 units, and Ford maybe will lose more than $3.1 billion. At that time, the shares of these two companies will drop and it'll boost Tesla's stock as high as possible. Now might be the time for investors to get into Tesla. Like it or not, Tesla has become one of the top automakers in the world, expected to account for 85% of EVs in the US market. That's it for today's episode. As always, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs. And be sure to leave a comment down below to tell us what you thought about today's content. Once again, we thank you so much. From all of us here, we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.